so I've been playing a lot of GT7 recently. Actually, pretty much Whoa. since launch. As I alluded to in one of my earlier videos, there's something about this mode, which it literally just engulfs me. And it got me wondering, can your average Joe actually break into the promised land of A+. Plus? Now, typically I play on controller, and I found I've kind of hit a ceiling with what I can do on a controller. I usually end up floating between the top of B and the bottom of A. And I really end up struggling with my tire management. And it's, it's, a, it's, it's a whole thing. Something that I know uh, other controller users also have a problem with. But quite literally last week, I bought an adapter for my Moza wheel so I can finally use it on my PlayStation 5. And I'm going to take you guys on this journey with me to find out if I can truly make it to the promised land. And our journey actually started last week with the last daily race C at Monza. Now, before we get into the feature race of this video, which will be this week's daily race C at Autopolis, I need to give you guys some context to how shit I was this time last week. So this is the first time I've ever actually properly played Gran Turismo on a wheel, like at all. And honestly, so different to Assetto Corsa, so different to my real life car in some ways. Cars snap and slide very strangely, and I'm not sure whether that's to do with the adapter I have for the wheel. I basically went from a kind of like an A minus, B plus driver to like a C plus to B minus driver. I think for the first time in about a year and a half, my safety rating went down from S to A. Uh. A track like Monza, it's all very much dependent on the braking zones, not locking up, making sure you're carrying speed, you know, down the back straight or through the first chicane. When you come out, you need to make sure your exit's really good. And the factor on hard tires also exacerbates that problem because there's almost less room for error, put it that way. And that's it, it, it was just a really, really big struggle. So coming into this week, uh, I had my expectations quite low. Thankfully, my driver rating had kind of adjusted from the previous week. So now I was amongst the rest of the rat race, which perfectly leads us up to earlier this week. So prior to the feature race, you're gonna see in a minute, which we're gonna show in, in almost its entirety anyway. I did do one quick race before that, just to get a feel for this. This was on Monday, so literally, basically, even before we knew what the meta was. By the way, I know it's the Citroen, so please leave me alone. And I qualified pretty well, P5 to start off with. I thought that might have been a good place from the grid to kind of work my way up from. But basically, my race ended when Ooh. this guy punted me off the track. Swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed up? But I'm also not gonna lie to you guys. I kind of low-key did the same thing to someone else. Bruh. But unlike the other dude who punted me, I did give him the place back. So, you know, if you're doing this online, please give the place back. Your sins have been recorded for the internet to enjoy for the rest of eternity. So, well done. Yeah, I don't really know what else I'm expecting in the in these lower lobbies. It's almost bound to happen. And I came home in a pretty decent recovery race in a P7. So to be honest, I'll take that. But with that also being said, you know, definitely still could have done way better if I could have avoided the shenanigans. So after improving my quality time, we went again, which leads us perfectly to the feature race of this episode. Now, I knew I qualified pretty well, but almost half a second on the guy Whoa. who was in second. I thought that was pretty crazy. I obviously filmed this on the Monday, um, you know, kind of before, I guess, people kind of figured out the meta or got used to the track. Autopolis is a track I like quite a lot. Obviously, anyone who's been following the channel and plays Need for Speed, you'll know. This track featured in Need for Speed Pro Street, fun fact for any Need for Speed fans out there. But at this point, before we go to lights out, I was literally thinking, no turn one shenanigans, please. Like, as long as we can avoid the turn one shenanigans, we're gonna be absolutely okay. But as we go into turn one, we can see Pision 84 behind us. He does let off, he gives us the space. More importantly, we don't lock up going into turn one. I tend to choke in these types of situations sometimes, especially in sport mode. But yeah, he gives us the space. But unfortunately, he seems to get taken out himself. We're gonna have to watch that back in a minute to see what actually happened. But as we go into what is this, like turn four or five or something like that, 
Uh, we basically got a second gap on the car behind us. So quickly looking at this replay then, we can see Pissy on 84 uh, in front. We've got Fred here, and yeah, that is an absolute dive bomb. And if I'm gonna put any blame on anyone there, it's absolutely gonna be Fred. So we clearly had the raw pace on him. Uh, you can see I've kind of built a two second gap here. Um, but to be honest, what I really have been struggling on a wheel is just getting that consistency. Like I can put in pretty, you know, all right times, definitely not A plus times, but that consistency is really what I struggle with. I was here again on the brakes, not very decisive on what I'm doing, tire onto the grass. Obviously now my front left is dirty. So kind of going back to what I was talking about with the consistency, just not great. Now he's within three tenths, five tenths, six tenths. Again, right back on my ass. Basically that two second lead has just been squandered in a matter of moments. And this is a theme you're gonna see happen probably not only in this video, but future videos as well. So yeah, this last sector is probably one of my favorite parts of this track. Um, it's kind of all about where you're placing the car and if you mess up the entry kind of earlier in the sector it can kind of mess you up the whole uh, section um, but again just creeping in with some of that consistency I was mentioning earlier onto the grass again that 1.4 seconds it's gonna come down now again fluctuating here and there honestly this race could be lost at any moment with my consistency uh, you know, I've got a 154 as my as my best time, but you know, followed by a 156, same as the first lap. Not very good at all. We go really deep into turn one again. No confidence in the brakes whatsoever, and that delta just keeps flip flopping. You know, I gain five tenths. And then they gain five tenths through a mistake I've made. One thing I've also just noticed is some of the faces I made. I'm really concentrating. I'm only now just realised that. It's very interesting though, the pack behind us following very closely uh, within an arm's reach. Maybe not within the slipstream's uh, reach, but definitely right behind us. And then the kind of pack behind that is, you know, eons away. I, I think I knew for a fact at this point uh, there was a four second delta I needed to put basically fresh new tires onto the car and I kind of wanted to kind of gain that four seconds delta before getting into the pits. Uh, shout out to Womble for uh, the useful information. <laughs> and we can see there Hamburg going into the pits and I'm, I'm just imagining now that, you know, people are gonna follow. And I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of an interesting one. Like I have a lot of confidence in the amount of grip I have right now, but maybe not not necessarily enough confidence to get me through to the end of the race. Um, you know, if you kind of uh, remember from earlier in the episode, on the last race I did, the whole, the tires were absolutely shot. I think the whole box was red. Um, but obviously, if you want to pit for new tires, you want to do that relatively soon. So at this point, I'm honestly thinking about it quite deeply, um, and I'm, you know, unsure whether I want to do it because I don't really quite have a four-second gap right now. But you know, obviously, I'm going to need to make a decision sooner rather than later as we go really deep into that section there. It doesn't seem to make that big of a difference to our Delta though. Actually, strangely enough, he must have really messed up because now we're actually in a 4.4 second Delta to the car behind. So as long as I keep it nice and clean, really, uh, we should be able to pit four new tires and basically not have a problem. Um, and that's exactly what we did. Uh, we basically kept the gap. We actually extended the gap by quite a bit, as you can see on the screen right now. Uh, and we came into the pits for a fresh new set of medium tires because we can. I tend to find definitely in these lower lobbies as well, you're like, you're not gonna have as many people going all the way on one set of tires. Most of the time people will be changing. But now I'm thinking that this actually might happen on the first episode Close. back. We, are we gonna get the dub? Uh, it's looking like a W might be having to be added on the resume, right? And basically over the course of the next few laps, I was just trying to extend that gap as much as possible. And we actually ended up getting a 10 second lead on the guy in second, but it all came crashing down.
May, a somber reminder that we are a, on a different planet to an A-plus driver right now, not even on the same universe. Uh, obviously, my tyres were dirty. I think as soon as they got dirty, it was just one mistake after another. And to be honest, I, like, I really do think if I was in a higher B-class lobby, I would have been punished for those mistakes. How have I got off three times in one lap and I've still got a five-second lead? But with all that being said, guys, come on, round of applause. A dub in the first episode of this road to glory. Exquisite, 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 exquisite. <laughs> I really wish I had my uh, live come on because um, honestly, you would have just heard me shitting myself for the last like two laps. Honestly, some of the noises I was making when I came off the track. But that wraps it up for this video. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think of this format down below. I'm quite open to suggestions. Do you? Would you prefer less commentary, more commentary? more editing less editing uh, let me know what you think down below uh, it's good to be back as well it's good to be back guys if you made it to the end of the video uh, type in monkey talk into the, into the comments to confuse all the people that didn't watch to the end that's been it from us if you enjoyed hit the like subscribe and we'll see you in the next one but